What happens when the cartoons we grew up with get reimagined for modern audiences? Sometimes it's great, but more often it's a massive letdown. Today we're talking about the top 7 worst cartoon reboots that completely missed the mark, destroying the essence of what made these shows iconic in the first place. Number 7. Scooby-Doo Reboots Scooby-Doo has been a beloved series since its debut in the late 60s, known for its spooky mysteries and clever characters. Over the years, it kept its charm, especially with shows like Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, which managed to blend humor, suspense, and horror beautifully. However, the reboot What's New Scooby-Doo completely lost touch with that winning formula. The animation style became softer, the jokes were bland, and the mysteries were less engaging, turning the once serious and thrilling show into a goofy comedy that lacked any real punch. But it didn't stop there. The Velma reboot stirred up even more controversy by drastically altering the core characters and storylines. Shaggy isn't Shaggy anymore. Daphne isn't the brave redhead we remember. Instead of embracing the essence of these characters, the show took a completely different turn, focusing on agendas that felt forced rather than fitting into the natural flow of the story. This left fans feeling disconnected and longing for the days when Scooby-Doo was all about solving mysteries with humor and heart. Number 6. Teen Titans Go! Teen Titans was the superhero cartoon that had it all, action, emotion, and complex character development. Then came Teen Titans Go!, a reboot that decided to replace all the action and depth with slapstick humor and random silliness. It turned the once heroic team into a group of bumbling, childish characters obsessed with pizza, video games, and toilet humor. The original Teen Titans tackled mature themes like friendship, betrayal, and responsibility. In contrast, Teen Titans Go! reduces the characters to exaggerated versions of themselves, often making jokes that feel more annoying than funny. While it's clear the creators were aiming for a younger audience, the complete tonal shift alienated older fans who adored the original show. The reboot lacks the complexity and grit that made the Teen Titans stand out among other superhero cartoons. Number 5. All New Jackie Chan Adventures Jackie Chan Adventures was a standout show in the early 2000s, combining martial arts, mystical talismans, and Jackie's trademark humor. The original series had a perfect balance of action, magic, and engaging storylines that appealed to both kids and adults. So when All New Jackie Chan Adventures was released, fans expected more of that thrilling magic. But instead, they got a watered-down version that's almost unrecognizable. This reboot doesn't focus on Jackie as the main hero. Instead, he's a mentor to a group of kids fighting monsters in an overly childish and simplistic way. Gone are the intense fights, the mysterious talismans, and the feeling of adventure that kept viewers glued to their screens. The reboot's childish tone, poor animation, and uninspired plots made it feel more like a generic kids show than a continuation of the legendary Jackie Chan adventures we all knew and loved. Number 4. Thundercats Roar Thundercats was a groundbreaking series in the 1980s, known for its epic battles, captivating storylines, and bold animation style. Fans were excited when a new Thundercats reboot was announced, hoping for a modernized version of the classic. But what they got was Thundercats Roar, a reboot that went in a completely different direction, embracing a cartoony, goofy aesthetic that clashed with the spirit of the original. Instead of the heroic, battle-hardened characters of the original, we got characters who were dumbed down to the point of being caricatures. The reboot focused on absurd, over-the-top humor, making the Thundercats look more like Saturday morning cartoon rejects than fierce warriors. The sharp, intense animation of the 80s was replaced with rounded, soft designs that felt lazy and uninspired. It was a massive misstep that alienated both old fans and newcomers who expected something more compelling. Number 3. Ben 10 Reboot Someone's feelings cry me a river. Will you two just be quiet? I want to get to punching people! Wow, they really are out of control. Ben 10 was one of those shows that had everything cool aliens, awesome transformations, and a strong sense of adventure. 
The original series and its sequels, Alien Force and Omniverse, evolved beautifully, keeping fans hooked with increasingly complex and mature storylines. However, the 2016 Ben 10 reboot stripped away all the evolution that the series had gone through, reducing Ben back to a whiny, immature kid with far less character depth. The animation style also shifted to a more basic, rounded look that felt like a downgrade from the detailed art of previous series. The reboot's tone was far more childish, and the storytelling lacked the stakes and character development that made the earlier series so engaging. It felt like the creators were simply trying to replicate the look and feel of other Cartoon Network shows of the time, resulting in a reboot that felt generic and uninspired. Number 2. Total Dramarama Total Drama Island was a hit show that parroted reality TV with sharp humor, crazy challenges, and memorable characters. But the reboot Total Dramarama was a drastic departure. Instead of the competitive spirit and witty, sometimes dark humor of the original, this reboot turned all the characters into preschool versions of themselves and set the show in a daycare. The edgy jokes and clever satire were replaced with silly, simplistic plots that failed to capture the charm of the original. Fans who loved the rivalry, alliances, and drama of the original series were left scratching their heads at this childish reimagining. The reboot not only lost the unique tone that set total drama apart, but also made the once-beloved characters feel like hollow shells of their former selves. It's a prime example of a reboot that missed what made the original special, opting instead for a formula that felt lazy and uninspired. Number 1. The Powerpuff Girls The original Powerpuff Girls series was groundbreaking, featuring three adorable yet fierce superheroes who fought iconic villains like Mojo Jojo and him. It wasn't just about the battles, it was about empowering young viewers with the message that anyone, no matter how small, could make a big difference. The show balanced action, humor, and life lessons, creating a series that appealed to both kids and adults. However, the 2016 reboot stripped away much of what made the original special. The animation style was softened, the humor was less clever, and new characters like Bliss, the fourth Powerpuff Girl, felt forced and unnecessary. Worse, the show shifted focus to trivial storylines about fashion, boy bands, and social media, sidelining the core concept of fighting villains. Even the epic battles that were once a staple of the series were replaced with mundane conflicts that lacked impact. The Powerpuff Girls reboot tried to update the show for a new generation, but forgot what made it resonate with fans in the first place. The characters felt less like superheroes and more like spoiled kids, and even the villains were stripped of their menace. In trying to make the series more relatable to modern viewers, the reboot ended up feeling shallow and devoid of the heart that made the original iconic. To make matters worse, there was also an anime adaptation called Powerpuff Girls Z, which completely abandoned the core elements of the original show in favor of a bizarre reimagining. It was so forgettable that even diehard fans often overlook it. The disappointing reboots of this classic series show just how easy it is to miss the mark when trying to reimagine a beloved franchise. Honorable mention, My Little Pony, Pony Life. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic was an unexpected success that managed to capture the hearts of both young girls and adults alike with compelling stories, complex characters, and surprisingly deep themes. The show redefined the franchise, turning it into a cultural phenomenon with a dedicated fanbase that loved its wholesome, yet adventurous vibe. However, the subsequent reboot, My Little Pony, Pony Life, didn't quite hit the same mark. With exaggerated facial expressions, high-pitched voices, and a frantic pacing, this version felt more like a Saturday morning cartoon on caffeine. The nuanced personalities of the original ponies were replaced with overly simplified, exaggerated versions that didn't feel genuine. Fluttershy, once the shy and kind character, was suddenly the most outspoken, flipping the personalities fans had come to love. The show's shift from storytelling to randomness turned off many longtime fans, who felt that the reboot was a blatant attempt to capitalize on the brand without understanding what made Friendship is Magic so beloved. The change was a harsh reminder 
that even successful reboots aren't immune to poor decision making, leaving many fans longing for the days of magical friendship and well-crafted stories. So there you have it, our picks for the top 7 worst cartoon reboots that failed to live up to their predecessors. Each of these shows started with a fantastic foundation, only to be reimagined in ways that disappointed their original fans. Whether it was poor animation choices, dumbing down complex characters, or just trying too hard to appeal to new audiences, these reboots lost the essence of what made their originals so great. Reboots are always a gamble. When done right, they can breathe new life into beloved franchises, but when done poorly, they can leave fans longing for the past. What do you think? If you want some underrated cartoons, watch the video on the screen. Did we miss any reboots that deserve a spot on this list? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the best and worst of animated series.